everybody, Princess Casserole here, and I am here with another jewelry jar unjarring. Um, I got this from Savers. Uh, this one was $19.99. I also had a coupon for 30% off because they had had their double couple days of donating and I had a two dollar coupon for the survey when you answer the survey they'll give you a coupon so um, let's get into this I'm gonna just use the tools that I have here to accomplish this task And excuse my, my one finger, we went um, yesterday to an antique store and the door slammed into my finger and took, <laughs> took some of my nail polish off with it. They haven't been putting out a lot of jewel jewelry lately, so... Um, I, this bag didn't seem to have tags or anything in it, so um, I thought it would actually be like all new, newer stuff because the guy who took over kind of doing their jewelry, I don't think he loves, he loves doing it. So um, where they used to put out new things every day, they haven't been, um, just like a couple things here and there so you know the last couple times I've been going in I haven't really been seeing a lot so this was lying on the floor for a couple days and I I don't usually love the jewelry jars there um, I have a lot of them that I have to undo um, on jar but, you know, I had a feeling this one might be good. So, this is all the stuff that fell out. So, the first thing is this. And it's marked pewter. So, it's a cross. It's cool. And then, there is an arrowhead pendant. And circle pin. I don't see it marked anywhere because it almost looks, I only say that because it almost looks gold filled because of the color. Um, I think that says Roman and it's just a pendant. I think that's what it says. Yeah, Roman. We have a stick pin, a G. stick pin. Now this isn't marked at all, but this is a pretty cool chain. It's really heavy. So I could definitely, it's smaller. So I'd definitely put like a big pendant on this. One of these, I don't know where these came from, but I see these all the time. Another stick pin. Mary Community College, 1962. Ooh, that's kind of cool. State University of New York. National Association for Uniform Services, life member pin. So this is different. So there's this at the bottom and then this at the top. And then it's just a really long chain. It's a really long chain. This before 
a watch or something. This is just what it looks like. I have no idea what that is. If anyone knows, please share your knowledge down below. Okay, so these ones were on display and nobody bought them. For $1.99, so... <laughs> Um, and these ones too. Like Wilma Flintstone. This guy? Doesn't look like that silver. Beats are different. And this is pretty. I saw this. They did have this one hanging before. And, uh, it's got the toggle clasp, but it's got, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got like gold stone beads in it. So, that's kind of pretty. Oh, this is kind of cool. So, it's a little dirty in the middle. I'll have to clean it up. There's little hands. And I wonder if maybe these are glove holders that you um, you know hold your gloves with I think that's what they are I love anything with little hands on them that are vintage um, I always pick them up if they're for the right price and then we have crucifix it says Italy not much silver or anything. Just a... Uh, oh, they're ducks. How cute. But... I'll have to look a little closer le later. Um, no, I don't see anything. It's so dirty. So that's... That could be nice. It cleans up nicely. Um, and the guy here said, you know, if anything's like too difficult to deal with, he just stuffs it in there. He just throws it in here, like the tangled stuff. Korea. And there's like a little poof at the bottom here that it was in. That's cute, little crocheted poof. Um, this one has a barrel clasp, just beads. And but this is Claire's. Yeah, Claire's. And it's just an E. Um, then this is just like a pearl in a cage bracelet, but there's a pearl missing. So, you know what I'm going to do with this one? These don't have holes. So these will be perfect for replacement jewelry. Um, so maybe I'll do a video where I take these pearls out of this cage so that I can use it to repair. This is not very heavy. I don't see any, any marks or anything. It says silver issue, find silver, 1778. That's, the bale looks a little older. I have to do some research on it. That's kind of cool though. I don't know, when I have things like this sometimes, I don't know, instead of donating stuff sometimes, these are nice beads. I'll sometimes just take things like that apart um, because then we can recycle the beads where sometimes people won't want this to wear because it's not really in style anymore. I was wondering what this is. This was, this is a headband. Boop, boop. Uh, this is a weird, ugly button cover. Oh, 
Oh boy, from China. Yuck. And yuck. It's a belly button ring. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I am definitely going to have to wash my hands after this video. Not that I don't always, but... Ugh. This might have been a bad idea, Carla. This just should have went in the garbage. It's a tongue ring. It is disgusting. Ugh. Do not eat around this stuff. Ugh. I think they could leave out the body jewelry. Silver chain. Um, within it. As you can see. It's marked. So, there's like one thing. I'll see, like, why would you put some of this stuff in there? It's not even, it's broke, completely broken. And these ones aren't supposed to be like just broken stuff. Now, things like this, um, they sell at like Michael's and stuff these by themselves for like clothing or scrapbooking and different things so this I'll just put to the side for um because there's no clasp on it or anything either so I'll put it to the side um I don't know what this is <laughs> it's just a watch band without a watch I don't know this is actually marked Coro. We'll see if there's another unbroken one in here that's different. I have no idea what that one is. See, he's broke. Well, no, I think those are just symbols. I don't think he is broken. He's a pin. Uh, I can't make out JJ. So it's a JJ clown pin. That's cute. Oh, here's an eagle. I don't think he's marked. Oh. Just a little eagle pin. Oh, and here is a V. American flag pin. And a star pin. Um, this one's a little hard. It's cute. I think sometimes when you see these, they're like the cutouts of, I don't know. That may be the cutouts of a coin, but I don't know. It's just a circle. It's a pearl necklace. The bead caps are in pretty bad shape on that. Oh, we have a match. Here. Nice. And they're the ones marked Coro. These are actually kind of cute. I like these. Um, this is in terrible shape. But what I will most likely do is remove the clasps. Because they're pretty clasps. And throw the rest out. So I'm going to put that over there. Birdie. Um, little kid's necklace, and this one's a pretty heavy bracelet. I think somebody made this. So it's got the toggle clasp. And then just a beachy necklace. 
and it's just a flower earring. Sparkles. But that's kind of cool. It's like a big safety pin with a butterfly on it. Pin. Ugh, this rubber band smells awful. <laughs> this is really tangled. It's going to take me some work to get it out, but that's it's pretty. And it's marked Belladonna. So hopefully I can get that untangled. I'm sure he gave up, and that's why it's in here. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. It's garbage. So... We have two, like, teeth or something. On um, this chain, which is pretty worn. There's, like, a rook, like a chess. That's kind of cool. I'll give that to my husband. Um... So I thought this was nice. Let's see if they're all there. Oh, it looks like they're all there. And uh, this is marked. Trifari with the crown. So it's older. So this one's actually nice. I love the color of it. Doesn't seem all that worn or anything. And it doesn't look broken. And then, oh, this had to have had something on it that fell off. It's springy. So this is a cross crucifix. Um, um, not marked that it's silver or anything. It looks older. It's neat, right? Like, is this like a watch fob or something? It was a part of something. at something here. It hangs down from there. So it looks like it was part of something else. Um, an earring. Not gold. Kind of cool. I don't know what that means. A.H. something ink. Washington, D.C. Outstanding service. So this is pretty. Doesn't look to be missing any stones or anything. And that is what the chain looks like and it's a hook. So that one's neat. Looks a little vintage. No markings or anything. It's actually kind of cute. It's just kind of plain heart with uh, looks like a freshwater pearl um, just a mini dice um, that's cute little bow vintage the wire that's used it's like the square wire so that's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, one blue hoop earring. <laughs> one big hoop earring. I think we may have two of these. Oh, 
Oh, they're cool. It's faux turquoise the feathers. Um, and another Christmas pin. Might be able to use it for my aunt. My aunt. 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 Um, these are pretty. Just white. Oh, it looks like an inklet. A nice plain inklet. Coin. Oh, it looks like fr Frank's. Five. Francis. Francs. <laughs> Francis. Alright, so this is one of the things I saw. The reason why I bought it. That is pretty. It says GF on the back. Hmm. <laughs> I totally took all my nail polish off. <laughs> Both of my nails when I was trying to open that. So, inside. This is plastic, so it can be, you know, super old. It's not like Victorian or anything, but I think some of these are like 40s, 50s, gold filled. And the etching is really pretty. So, um, that I like a lot, and I love the gold filled color. Um, Jake and Isabel, I think it says. It's just a bracelet. Hope. Oh. Um, these I will break apart, and so I can keep these guys for um, jewelry making. Julia says they come. Come right off. So I keep these because these are um, really nice to use for jewelry making. Um, I don't know what this is. But it's an extender. It's got like two clippies and then. Oh, you know, it probably makes something that is a magnetic, makes it a magnetic clasp. But clippies. Made in Nepal. Ooh. That looks like a moonstone. Um Ooh, I like that. It's probably not. Yeah, let's see. Well, it's not. It's not magnetic. So I wonder if maybe something could be marked underneath the made in Nepal. No. Huh. So I wonder. I wonder if it is. Silver or not, but it's cold to the touch, and it looks looks like a real moonstone. It's really pretty, and uh, it's a pretty big size because it fits that finger, and nothing fits that finger. My finger is so large. Here, they don't look that great, but um. I do sometimes if I need to take the pearls out of these things to keep too. So, um, because it's hard to find the pearls that don't have holes in them. So that's probably what I'll keep that one for. Earring, again, is not gold. So, um, 
These can be cute for crafting too. If I, even if their other one isn't there, I can cut this off and paste it on something. And a C pin for Princess Casserole. Oh, it actually looks like there are both of these. So I will keep those because I like the ribbon earrings for Christmas time. I think they're cute. Um, so is this one. A mitten. And there's two of those. No idea what I'm going to do with those. There's a match on the gold one. So just a really big New York and company necklace. These are interesting. Oops. Earrings. They're like a hoop with the so hoop with the earring and you pull it out and then it goes back through. Snowman. Looks like these are marked, but I cannot hard to see. Um, but they're, they're pretty. I think they'll clean up pretty nicely. These are like crystal, crystals, pearl. So I think that had a match. I liked this a lot, and the locket. Um, if you guys are resellers, do you resell, would you resell with the picture inside? Or no? Curious. I think these arc love clips so I like those this is older I think um, I think there was something there this could be cool for crafting or repurposing um, JJ clown pin it's kind of cool um, this necklace was neat and the coral yeah clip on earrings, this safety pin, and silver necklace, and then this cool ring. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this even though it wasn't a home run. Um, it could have been worse. I've had worse jars and bags than this, but um, you know, I it was nineteen ninety nine. I had the thirty percent off cu uh, coupon and then the two dollar off coupon, and all I bought was this jar and another jar. So, you know, I figured I would take it, take a chance, and take you guys with me on my journey. So, I'm curious about what in the world this is. With that, and still not sure. Please subscribe, and um. If you want, you can share my video with other people that you think might also enjoy going through and sometimes seeing junk and sometimes seeing, you know, really cool stuff. Um, please comment down below if you have any other information about any of this stuff. And otherwise, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!